The tropics have become busy, but thankfully no storms threatening the United States. We still have a ways to go this hurricane season, and there's still a possibility that something may impact us, but not in the near future. As Faye moves away from Bermuda, Bermuda now preparing for another storm. It's Gonzalo, almost a hurricane. Will likely be a hurricane by Tuesday morning. Very healthy storm on the satellite picture, very tightly wound center of circulation. And Hurricane Hunter data was coming in to us Monday morning, confirming that we have wind gusts very close to hurricane force there on the eastern quadrant. And uh, this system will likely become a pretty powerful hurricane as it moves over the very warm waters of the western Atlantic. Good news for Puerto Rico. It's likely to stay north and east of that island. Only minimal impact there. But the island of Bermuda could be ground zero for this storm, possibly a category two or stronger by Friday and Saturday. Notice, though, it's moving north and east away from the United States, and all the forecast data suggests it'll make that turn. There's all the potential forecast tracks from the various uh, models, and they're all pretty much within that cone of uncertainty from the National Hurricane Center. We've got a cold front moving through the state, which deflects tropical systems, and thankfully that is happening right now. But still, this time of year, depending on the timing of these fronts, if something were to fester here in the Western Caribbean or southern part of the Gulf of Mexico, it still could impact us. So chances are low that will happen, but it's certainly still a possibility. Anything that develops near the Yucatan Peninsula in this type of weather pattern would probably move in the direction of Florida. But once again, those chances are low at the present time, but it's certainly something we will be watching over the coming weeks. Just a heads up, the front coming in Tuesday could spark some severe weather in the panhandle and northern portions of the state. Wind damage the primary risk.